during the race, you were one of the toughest guys during the race, right? And everyone has those moments where you're like, should I do it? Should I not do it? Can I do it? Am I going to die if I do it? How did you so many times basically hit red line either mentally or physically and keep going? I think the easiest thing that I, that I thought of, you know, in, in, in those instances would, what worked for me, I think is hoping or just saying to myself, Hey, they're hurting just as bad as I'm hurting. You know, <clears throat> you think, man, I, I feel like crap right now. I there's no way I can do this. I can't make a move. And you know, you're neck and neck with somebody, the likelihood that they're feeling way better than you're feeling is very unlikely. Like the likelihood is that they feel just as bad as you, if not worse. So a lot of it is just kind of holding tough. And it's like, okay, maybe I, I, maybe you can't make that move right then, but it's like, whatever you do, don't break. It's like maintain, maintain, maintain. And it's just like, you just have to turn that like, say, I'm just going to keep it right here and hope that when it comes time to really switch to, to make, you know, to break this person, I can do it. And, and, and a lot of times it's just thinking like, they're not sitting there going, oh, this is the easiest mm -hmm. thing ever. Oh, this is easy. No way. Yeah, well, but you, and, it. and, and, and it's a good point because as a, as, as running and I felt that you just assume they're feeling better. You just assume that, that they're feeling great. And, and a lot of it comes down to who, who breaks first. You know, it's like you guys, you could be, you could be like, I can't make a move. I can't make a move. I can't. As soon as this, as soon as this person makes a move on me, I'm done. And then you're sitting there, you're still running and you're like, well, they haven't made a move yet. And you're like, well, maybe I'll make a move. And then you maybe squeeze it a little bit and make a move and then it totally crushes them and breaks them. You know, it's a lot of it's just like I said, you maintain, you're like, okay, wait for that moment and hope that, you know, you kind of get to that, get to the point in the race where you're like, okay, I'm going to give it one last shot. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a squeeze here and hope that that's the, what, ha what breaks the person you're running against you know like just that little bit of a move is just something that go up you know fall back ah, i'm done i'm done i can't do it because a lot like i said a lot of they're going they're having the same negative thoughts as you are quite possibly so is there a, a is there one race where it sticks out where you're like oh i can't do it can't do it this guy's gonna beat me this guy's gonna beat me and you just say hold on and then you kind of is surprised because you're still there and he drops off yeah, I mean, I've had plenty of those races throughout my career. Um, I think, I, I think probably one race. It's I don't know. It's it's tough. It, oh, I would come on, say, you had that. What's that race? No, I mean, I, I guess I could say maybe maybe in two thousand six uh, at the um, cross country champ US cross country championships, mm -hmm. uh, I won the four K, and it was like neck and neck with, with. I mean, it was just to the in Boulder. With, no, no, it was in uh, Van Cortland Park. Okay. And um, uh, Dan Lincoln was there with me. And we were, I mean, we, we had a whole crew. I mean, we were like, a bunch of us were there the whole time. And it was just, just crew coming through. And it came down to, I, you know, that last maybe 600 meters. And I started to just, you know, make my move. But it was like, just, it didn't matter. You know, it's like, it was like, I'm making my move, but I'm still not really dropping him, anybody. Mm -hmm. And I remember at that point, it was kind of like, it, it kept down to the point where it was like, I was making my move and, and we were separating, but Dan was there still. Dan Lincoln was there and I was like, man, like drop, drop, drop. And I was like, man, I'm running hard. I'm all out here. And I'm like, if he makes a, a move, like if he's able to make a move at this point, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to respond. And, and then it came down to really, um, neck and neck until the last um, probably you know maybe 80 meters and I was able to just give it one last just push and I dug 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 and that made a difference like that crushed him at that point so he wasn't you know and and so there was that point where I had in my mind going in like man if he makes a move right now I'm done but 100 meters later I was still hurting and I, and he hadn't made a move and I was like, I'm going, it's time to go. And I just, and I just let loose. And, and so, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've had those moments quite often where you're just not sure. And you just kind of let the race unfold a little bit longer and you get one last shot and, and, and it, and it plays out.